We are going to dive right into it, and we're going to talk about 5G-powered fan experiences that are happening at Seattle's T-Mobile Park. Ron, take it Yeah, this is actually really cool because we've been hearing a lot about, you know, 5G capabilities, and it has uh, been a bit of a marketing hype cycle. And what the good news here is like, okay, here are some tangible applications that are being used in an actual ballpark setting. Obviously, the Seattle Mariners play at T-Mobile Park. And uh, what is going on is that T-Mobile is showcasing uh, a lot of these 5G-enabled capabilities, and this is 5G-specific too. It's uh, in its essence creating an immersive experience, you know, for any right. fan. And we're seeing this picking up, you know, across different sports, across different stadiums as, you know, the COVID-19 lockdown restrictions are being pulled back and, you know, more people can file back into the stadiums and any part of the world. Uh, what's uh, specifically interesting about uh, T-Mobile Stadium is the fact that they're uh, combining holograms and in real smart glasses and yeah. uh, mixed reality applications to uh, create, you know, I think a lot of different capabilities uh, that are uh, rather unique, uh, at least so far. Uh, for example, uh, they're working with a company called Omnivore, uh, which is a hologram developer that uh, uses face-to-face volumetric video conversations. So obviously that's something that is pretty cutting edge. Uh, right. The fact that it can actually conduct uh, video conversations uh, using holographic capabilities is, you know, uh, I think an uh, interesting experience. You just have to do it to appreciate right. uh, just, you know, the, the level of quality that's involved in engineering to uh, make this work. And I, I think this is showing that T-Mobile is leveraging the ecosystem. This is what it's really been all about. You know, T-Mobile can come up with all these applications themselves. And they've also enlisted a company called Iconic Engine, and uh, they provide full extended reality experiences, including, you know, the 5G mixed reality uh, experience that, again, uses those smart glasses that uh, people can put on to really, Mm -hmm. you know, gain that uh, enhanced extra level of knowledge about what's going on in the game, you know, extra camera angles, automated uh, stats about a player, and so forth. And I I think it really is cool because I think anybody's been in a stadium uh, can get frustrated looking down at a, you know, like a magazine uh, to find out information and miss a big play right. or you know, they're trying to look up at the uh, the scoreboard and and it's, it's blocked and you know you get the whole idea you know it's not a consistent uh, uh, always enjoyable experience right. and uh, this is what really I think is taking it to the next level where you can avoid all these interference and barrier factors with you know what are you know real world experiences today and as a result I think uh, this is really uh, taking T-Mobile's brand to the next level in terms of driving, you know, the the smart stadium experience. Right. And to top it all off, uh, they're using uh, drone technology to uh, actually film uh, the Field of Dreams Park in a recently uh, released uh, film. And so that was really cool uh, because uh, by using the drone, you, you get that uh, perspective that you can't get uh, from, you know, uh, standard camera angle shots. Right. And uh, as a result, uh, this is kind of like an extra layer of, okay, this is really cool and exciting stuff that's going on today uh, that's uh, being uh, enabled for, you know, fans that can actually uh, use these. And, you know, stay tuned as this becomes uh, more uh, widely available and uh, perhaps the Seattle Manors will have even a better season next year and uh, really, you know, take these capabilities uh, to a wider audience and more people become aware of this and, well, you know, will demand it for their stadium. Like, I live in the Houston area. I'd love for Minute Maid uh, Park to have these capabilities, at least as an option. I'd pay extra uh, to use things like that, uh, being, a, you know, an avid baseball fan. You know, what I think is interesting about these um, these stadium experiences, you know, we've we've covered um, AT&T Stadium in Dallas. We've covered, you know, some of the things that Verizon is doing. And really, when it comes to this, the sports experience, I think in no time we're going to be talking about, you know, how we talk about the telephone and we say, back in my day, you know, we only had a phone in the kitchen and in mom's room, you know, you had to drag the phone into the, like around the corner, into the bathroom, stretch the cord. Right. And you're, you're talking like this and your kids are little enough that this isn't happening, but just wait. Um, But your kids are looking at you like, I don't even know, like, 
is this like, <laughs> like what phones, what, um, you know, wired phones. And, and I think that we'll look back on what our fan experiences ha are like, <clears throat> you know, maybe right now and what they will be in a very short period of time and think about the same thing, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. it, it, I think part of this technology will serve to make every seat a great seat which is not currently the case, right? When you go to a stadium and, and it's very expensive. So true. And so I think that that to me is what's exciting is just sort of the democratization. I hate to use that word. I feel like sometimes it's overused, um, you know, when we talk about technology solutions, but I do think that this is really interesting and it will take the fan experience to a whole new level. And, you know, the days of just going to a stadium and sitting in your seat and, you know, eating a hot dog and drinking a beer, like those, <laughs> those are like soon to be behind us and that there'll be so much more that we can do and get right. You know, I was reading this article about, um, at the T-Mobile Stadium. And it's just, you know, fans can be, you know, put on smart glasses and be transported onto the field and be pitching a ball or, you know, hitting at mm -hmm. a ball. And that's really super cool. So I, I really look forward to what we have here moving ahead. I think we've got some exciting things for sure. Yeah, combine that with 10 cent beer night, for example, things will really take off. <laughs> things will really take off. That's for sure. <laughs> 10 cent beer night. I don't think I've ever experienced 10 cent beer night. Yeah, like, they, you know, they $20 tried it beer night. And, uh, yeah, it, a riot broke out. Uh, it uh, hasn't been tried since 1974. Cleveland, there, you, there you go. I thought that sounded like a little <laughs> That's bit why of I brought that up. Yeah, really 10 cent beer night. <laughs>